lunchroom toilet. Here we sing to the sound of our phones, sweet like chocolate or something warlike. Could be a battle call for love, sitting with the lid down, painted cheeks, coloured in eyes. This, our haven, our dressing playground. In 15 years, we will love the shape of our lips, here with the door closed and cigarette smoke rising like blushing shame. The first to bleed is the most admired, idealised cramps, here where there are no windows, only our phones grant light for face paint, cheese string and the lips of a boy tattooed on our non-existent breasts. We open our legs without knowing what to do next, watch the ceiling swirl and play the film star on football bedsheets. Mm. How perfect our skin, still baby pink. We compare notes, observe lips spreading fingers as the toilet door shuts and the light thins. See how our blue expressions catch alcohol. See how we breathe plastic, bathing in nail varnish. Look how existential we are with our vodka and sweets. We shrink on stages where we are not allowed to speak. We speak in the voice of a politician, deep-throated and skilled, pretending to know the difference between families kept in cages and the knowledge that one day cold will become the condition of our bones. Our eyes are at peace, but the restless night and the ground teeth will stop us growing. In the future, we will remember the lunchtime makeup in the building, where we walk down the corridor with our knickers around our ankles, Hands clutching stolen bras. We wait for the bell, locked in the classroom. The classroom where we don't belong, but feel necessary. As straighteners flatten our puppy curves when we can't sleep and we can't say our names. Thanks.